Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Today, I wanted to talk about this clip in particular right here. Pay close attention to what happens. First of all, I take out my specialist weapon and I get a triple kill on the B flag. Now, besides the fact that it is a, a triple kill that I didn't actually earn, that it was given out to me because I completed my specialist weapon for the game, uh, disregard that, but look at the people in the kill feed that I killed. Now, we're going to fast forward here uh, towards where I'm capping the B flag, and look who it is. I kill this one person as I'm trying to capture the B flag, and the other person comes back. Both of these people, both the one that I killed and the one that killed me, they're the same person that I killed on the B flag before. Which means once I started capping the flag after I killed them, it didn't take them long at all to spawn in and return to the B flag. This is a huge issue. When I talk about these games with small maps and simplistic maps and all this stuff, when I talk about them having no skill, this is what I'm talking about. I killed these people and it didn't mean anything. Their death meant nothing. They were able to come right back to the same spot that they died and kill me immediately or before I could even capture the B flag. Why is this an issue though? This is an issue because now killing essentially doesn't mean anything. You see, in previous Call of Duties, I would say everything before Call of Duty Ghosts, or including Call of Duty Ghosts, and before Call of Duty Ghosts, killing actually meant something. Killing meant you were establishing map control. You saw someone in your line of sight, you saw someone at the B flag, and you wanted to get them away from the B flag, so you would kill them, in essence, sending them back to their spawn. If you took away the killing aspect of it and just thought in terms of gameplay, then you would be kind of just sending them back to their spawn. You would be tagging them back to their spawn. You would be establishing that map control, right? That's what Call of Duty is fundamentally supposed to be about. It's what it was about, uh, establishing map control like domination and establishing map control like on uh, demolition and search and destroy, all that stuff. You would kill people so that you could establish map control so that you could play the objective better, so that you could win better. However, as we see in this clip, map control is essentially dead. It doesn't matter that I killed three people off of the B flag. It doesn't matter that I killed four people before I died while trying to capture the B flag because they were able to spawn right back in and jetpack their way to, be, to the B flag again and kill me. So essentially the map control in this game it's really non-existent. I mean, yes, I may have captured the B flag. If I did capture the B flag, that would have been, I guess, technically controlling part of the map, but it's just so fragile. This is why I say small and simplistic maps lower the skill gap because it means the skilled players, the ones who are able to get kills, aren't rewarded as much as they used to. I mean, rewarded in terms of map control, rewarded in terms of... Uh, the objective play even because if this were any other game and I came up against three people and I killed them on the B flag I probably would have captured the B flag. I mean this is another reason why solo players just get screwed over because here I am trying to play the objective all by myself and in like I said in any other Call of Duty game if I were in the same situation I probably would have captured the B flag and I probably would have had more influence on how the game would have turned out. This is also why you run into more than one player nearly every single time. If you see an enemy, you, there's probably a second one really, really close by because these maps are so small, they can't physically be that far apart. And two, they're so simple, there's no other routes they could take. And at the end of the day, that means that map control is fragile and it's almost non-existent, I would argue. Slowly pushing the enemy back and capturing that middle map control and capturing that B flag is really difficult if not impossible to do when the maps consists of two spawn locations and the center of the map. These maps don't feel like Call of Duty maps, they feel like Halo maps, they feel like little tiny arenas. 
Now that's great for Halo because it has a really high time to kill, but this is Call of Duty. This is supposed to be a more strategic shooter, at least it used to be, of course. And this is one of many reasons why I don't like small simplistic maps, and I thought this case in particular was a simply beautiful case to show you, to to have an ex as an example for all of you people who may not understand why I don't like small maps. So there is that. I don't like small maps because the they make map control so fragile and they make it so that solo players have that much more of a tough time to be successful for their team. So anyway, that's what I got for you guys. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next absolutely beautiful Call of Duty morning. I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.